Are you capable of completely ignoring negativity in your life? Let's find out. Today, I want to talk about something that's really important for our personal growth and mental well being ignoring negativity. It is something that I think we all need to focus on because, let's face it, negativity is everywhere. But I believe that making a conscious effort to ignore it, we can actually live a happier, a more fulfilling life all of us. Now negativity is everywhere guys. We see it on social media, we hear it at work, and we experience it in our personal relationships. It's like a constant stream of negative thoughts and emotions that we're exposed to every single day. And if we're not careful, it can really start to weigh us down and affect our mood, our motivation, and even our relationships. I mean, think about it. How many times have you scrolled through your social media feeds and you've seen people complaining about something or other. People, work, situations, or how many times have you been in a meeting at work yourself and all you can do is focus on the negative aspects of a project or somebody that you're working with. It's exhausting, right? And it's not just about the people around us either. We're also guilty of perpetuating negativity ourselves and thinking badly of ourselves. We might wake up in the morning and immediately start thinking about all the things that could possibly go wrong in our day. Or all the things that we have to do that day pisses us off and gets us down. We might focus on the difficulties rather than the opportunities. And before we know it, we're actually stuck in a cycle of negative thinking. And that is really, really hard to break. But the good news is that we do have the power to change this. We have got the power to choose how we react to negativity and we can focus on the positive side of life instead. So how do we do it? How do we ignore negativity and focus on the good stuff? Well, one strategy is to focus more on the positivity that's around you. And that means looking actively for positive influences and in people, whether it's through your social media or reading books, or even the people that you are surrounded with in work and socially. And that actually means choosing to focus on the good things in your life rather than the bad. So another strategy on top of that is to set boundaries in those situations. So that means learning to say no to negative influences, choosing not to engage with people or situations that are actually bringing you down and affecting you badly. It takes skill to stop responding to it and move on to more important matters in life that you've got going on. Mindfulness is also a really powerful tool in ignoring negativity and that means being present in the moment, not getting caught up in negative thoughts or emotions and when you feel that coming on, doing something about it. So it means being aware of your own thought patterns, choosing to focus on the positive. And finally, it's about taking care of yourself physically, emotionally and mentally. And that means getting enough sleep, eating healthy food, exercising regularly, and it means taking time for self-care, doing things that bring you joy and bring you relaxation. But I want to share with you the most powerful technique that I have found for ignoring negativity. And that is gratitude for what you've got in life. Focus on what you're grateful for. It can completely shift your mindset and it can help you to see the positive in every situation. It is amazing and it's something that's completely transformed my life. I used to be someone who focused on the negative all the time partly because the people around me were also doing the same. But since I've started practicing gratitude, I've noticed a huge shift. I feel more positive, I feel more confident, and I feel more at peace with myself as well. Now that's been over 10 years since I started my shift from negativity. What a difference. So to sum it up, ignoring negativity is a skill that can be developed. It just takes practice, it takes patience, and it takes a willingness to look around and actually focus on the positive things. But the payoff is huge. Choosing to ignore negativity, you can live happier, a more fulfilling life. And you can actually achieve your goals and your dreams much easier and much more efficiently, effectively. Thank you for watching everyone. Please make sure you do subscribe. And if you have ever struggled with negativity, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Let's find the positives. And if you want to learn more about those positives and how to cultivate your life, be sure to check out my other videos and thank you guys so much for taking the time out with me today to learn more and develop yourself. Take care guys, bye.